A few minutes ago, we heard the French Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe, saying that now is the time for dialogue. How much progress can the government really hope to make there, considering the complex nature of this movement? I think we're in a, a difficult situation for the French government at the moment. Um, they're trying to rein in uh, all of the aggravation that has been caused by um, the manifestation on the streets today and in the previous three um, Saturdays. Um, it perhaps feels a little bit like it's uh, too little too late um, to, to some extent. I think what we're going to see over the next uh, few days and week or so is an attempt by the uh, Macron administration to try to defuse this situation and try, if they can, as much as possible to sort of put it to bed before the, the Christmas and New Year period. I think, um, I think the government is particularly concerned that this is not going to be great for France's image if this continues uh, throughout the festive period, particularly with people looking to travel to Paris with uh, you know, short breaks and the tourism effect as well. So I think there will be a concerted effort, but whether uh, the government will be able to rein this back in and to be able to uh, get the, uh, the Gilets Jaunes movement, movement to, to calm down and to, and to listen to what they're proposing Posing remains to be seen. You know, I think this struggle is a lot about um, uh, the general high cost of living. And for many people in France and, and across Europe and, and globally, you know, trying to make financial ends meet, you know, paying things like rent, insurance, heating, that kind of thing. Um, uh, I think these are genuine concerns that have been raised by uh, many, many French people from, you know, from different walks of life. It's, uh, it's not one particular demographic, demographic that we can identify, you know, amongst the protesters. We've got factory workers, farmers, self-employed, um, retired, unemployed, um, people of all ages. Um, lots of protesters from small towns and rural environments, I think, protesting against the kind of uh, metropolitan centres and their perception of metropolitan elites. Um, and, you know, France has got this uh, tradition of uh, manifestation and protest, the kind of revolutionary tradition, as we, as we call it, you know, which obviously goes back to 1789. And uh, more recently, you know, we think of um, the May 68 uh, revolution that we uh, are celebrating uh, or, or um, remembering 50 years of, uh, that happened 50 years ago. Um, so, you know, it's not surprising that we see people out on the street in France that's not uncommon. Um, it's how deeply ingrained this movement is and how damaging it is to Macron and how damaging it is to um, the French uh, political system that remains to be seen, really, I think. And, uh, you know, you were mentioning the, the purchasing power, etc. That Those are not new issues, as is uh, not the, uh, the revolutionary aspect uh, of these types of protests. Uh, but many protesters and analysts have been pointing to Macron's political style and attitude is this personal? Um, I think I think for some protesters it's personal. I think you know Macron's style is perceived to be perhaps a little aloof and a bit distant. He's taken a, on a quite a kind of presidential traditional style where uh, communication with uh, the public has not been always that has not always been that direct. Um, but I don't think it is personal about Macron uh, entirely. I think it's about uh, general. Um, standards of living issues for many uh, French people. I also think it's this perception that the political elites in general are out of touch. And I think for Macron, um, it's doubly difficult because he pitched himself as somebody new from outside of the traditional kind of party politics circles. He uh, instigated this movement en marche um, movement, which was supposed to sort of have a new approach to politics, was supposed to have an inclusive approach. Um, his economic reforms were supposed to reduce unemployment uh, and to supposedly you know, increase the uh, standard of living in France. And as yet, I think for many French people, they've not really seen these effects. And so they're kind of reacting to the fact that, uh, you know, Macron pitched himself as something new, something as original, set up this new movement. It wasn't traditional party politics. And I think for quite a lot of French people at the moment, they haven't seen any difference from previous presidents and the way they've gone about their politics. Nicholas Dutton, thank you very much for your analysis. Thank you for having spoken to us on France 24.